ignition. Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Just getting into everything here. We'll get this swapped over. I've got the uh, game found amount link set up here, so that's all good to go. Um, I was gonna look something up here. Not sure we'll get the 
music all set up. Run some sound checks. It's always weird when, you, when my audio comes back in my ear. Make sure that sounds pretty reasonable for the back music. Probably a little bit higher. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Maybe a touch quieter. Yeah, that sounds perfect. Some nice smooth jazz. Let's see if we can get this camera turned on. There we go. That's me. Um, yeah, I think that all looks okay. I think the chat looks fine. Do some testing. Yeah, that can be moved a little tiny bit. There we go, that looks perfect. And since we have that, I will get the chat popped out proper. And we'll get into the selector. I'll just put this into there we go and there deck lists are all very scary I have taken some time, and I did get a chance to look at some of them beforehand. Uh, not necessarily all of them. Um, but they are all... I wish I could ban all six of them. Hey, Joe. How is it going? The uh, this is this is presumably what I'm going to be banned is going to be Cardiff. I think it's just I think Cardiff is too good to let um, to let through. And we have this one, which is just pretty classic MM nonsense. Lots of good C, um, very fast with the three eclectic inquiries. Just a lot going on. Um, more MM nonsense. Triple Infernus, Double Implosion, Grim Reminder, Jeez, um, Skippy Time Hog, Triple Pismire, got Sanchez, um, another Triple Infernus. Yeah, I know. Cardiff is. Cardiff is, is a no. Oh, I'm not showing the right screen. Thank you. I don't 
totally thought I had that changed. There we go. That's Cardith. So, yeah, Cardith is not something I want to keep around. At all. Um, got, they've got Renovatus, Justin Pozzola, and then he had Sanchez. Ah, man. I don't think, see, the, the name here is, I, I don't even think that's right. I don't think it is deceptively dastardly. I think it is just, I think it just is dastardly. And then we got the peculiar chronicle, chronicler, which is all oh, the infernus. The number this this double infernus, this double harvest time, is just so nasty. It's so nasty the double double and the double break key too. Like come on, and double infernus, Narat, stirring graves. MM. MM. MM is a monstrosity. And this is also another double harvest time deck with triple infernus this time. Bro. What do you even do? I mean, this is the, um, on the sheet, on the uh, thing, it is the you have the highest um, st uh, sass rating here. So I think it has to be Cardiff. I don't think we can let Cardiff let Cardiff through. They banned Margaret. That is fair. Um, against so many Infernuses, I don't really want to bring Jerito. Um, this deck with... This is the only one with Dissanius, so like we really have to worry about it. But... Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. Because I have to see what they save. The real, the real question, the real hardest thing I have to do is, like, what deck do I save here? I think maybe Samir... Get saved. Jericho is 20 pips. It's kind of way too many pips to leave into an Infernus lineup. Um, considering most of the stuff is it doesn't really have a board. I mean, it can Infernus too and do the Infernus, Infernus, Infernus and Bone Nithing recycling with the safe houses, but. So I can show those. The ones I'm considering saving are Grunberg, uh, Judge, and um, Samir. I'm sort of just I'm probably will lean saving um I think I'll lean saving judge so they yeah this is definitely one of the ones this is this is one of the ones I would wanted to ban yeah exactly uh, if judge if judge high rolls then Judge should win, no matter the matchup. This card is gone. Something like Rhino Vadas feels really hard to deal with. And then for our next ban, because they saved, they saved this deck. Which is certainly scary, but this is sort of, this is the deck, I think, personally, this this is slightly less scary to me, um, just due to the nature of it. So it's a lot, it's less efficient, so, you know, if, if they see the wrong half of the deck and I see the right half of the deck, I think we have a pretty decent chance there. So 
So it's either the other double harvest time piece. Because the problem is they've got Val Jericho. Kirby is always overvalued. I guess I'm maybe not subject Kirby. They got 18 creatures. Maybe not subject Kirby. I'm kind of thinking either the Peculiar Chronicler or Um Yeah, I think it's it's either Justin or the Peculiar Chronicler that we ban. And The Grim Reminder and Justin's really just so nasty. As well as the double mine fires, the implosions, Cronus. Cronus with seven draw pips. And a skippy time hog. Like that is just gross. Oh, and a punctured equilibrium. I didn't see that, yeah. Oh, that is actually good. If we're trying to play judge, that is actually a really good point. It's a pretty nasty form and an auto encoder, right? No, no auto encoder. I just don't think we can deal with that. You know, the single stirring graves, it's a lot um, easier to handle with, handle in time than just one big room reminder. So we'll, we will, we'll, we'll ban Justin and be interesting. Ban Jirito. That's interesting. That is not the deck I would have banned if I were them into this matchup. Um, yeah, that's actually a really interesting choice. I'll show Jericho on screen real quick. Um, <laughs> I will, Joe. I will. I will blame you. Don't worry. Uh, flame chat. It's always chat's fault. That's the rule Rule number one of streaming is that it's always chat's fault. So this is this is Jerto, and personally, I think Jerto has a, actually just a bad time into their lineups. I mean, the Inferno cycling with the bot safe houses are nice, but man, yeah, I wouldn't. It's not not that wouldn't have been my band. I, I would have I would have said you know like take pick Jerto and see if you get the right matchup for it. For game one, okay, so what's left? So we've got, we got rid of Justin, and so we're left with, run up these four. So, I think we picked Samir first game. We'll pick Samir first. Samir's done me well. Let's see what they picked. Yeah, okay, this is actually I'm not even I'm I'm not at all upset about this matchup. I'm actually I think this is a fairly fine matchup for um for Samir. The speed is an issue. There we go, got the link. Here we go, we're into the game. Pastors NKFL, if anyone's interested in spectating the games and being in there. So there's Samir.
man. Just answering uh, some messages. Yeah, I think we're pretty happy to go into... Um... Oh, hey, Dave. Um, so I think we keep... I think it would be silly not to keep, and we'll call Logos. And we'll get the daughter down. Early in Furnace. Early in Furnace is definitely... Interesting. So what did they hit me with? Oh, because the Blacksing Sophistry, they discarded the lights out. <laughs> Lol. Okay. Well, here we call... We'll call the Logos again. We'll get the Daughter down. We'll get the Inframorph down. We'll play that. We'll play the Mutagenic Serum. Right off the top. Okay. Okay, and we've got the... They do have a good amount of C in this text. So that is um, something we do have to worry about. So, they start with Lothalgica, and they churned a lot of their decks. It's a double munching, a sloppy lab work. Man, that deck would love a... Does this deck have an auto-encoder? No, it doesn't have an auto-encoder, right? Oh, it does. Okay, I was going to say. So that deck looks like it would love an auto-encoder. So, they've got back-to-back -back into... So, they went to Shadows, which is some of their, some of their C... They've gotten rid of their Smite, they've gotten rid of her two look over theirs, so they've gotten over, rid of a Rad Penny. As well as a quick... Yeah, as well as a Bone Rod Venom. I think those are all things we're really happy to see, um... See gone. Uh, it's fast, so it's not like it's not going to recycle, but, um... Happy to see it gone. So they just went into Logos. They just got rid of a ton of their Sanctum. Kind of a weird weird mix of hands there. If we've been Furnace, what are we in Furnacing though? Probably a Lethalogica and the Lights Out. Yeah. I'd kind of rather save the dis turn for next turn, though. Yeah, Red Penny's not a bad hit at all. Sort of inclined to play the shadows here. Play the shadows. I, I I'm just gonna hand shape a bit better, cause what I'm okay. What I really don't want to happen is the cause they have a lot of seed in the deck to just like get the snarets down, capture one when they're not on check, and then just have them smoten, smote, and just taken out of the game. Okay, sack of coins, which is another big piece of C. Okay, so I don't know if we can actually take him off check here. Um, but we'll call this here. Actually, no, yeah, we can definitely take him off check. Um, um, so here we'll play Snoret down. Play the Snoret down over here. Play the Infernus. Pick opponents. So here I think we pick, I think we will probably pick Red Penny. I think I think we pick Sack of Coins.
Do I need? Okay. So that'll be one, two, three. Tax for three. That'll go up to nine. Snarrats will take two. Hey, Zoc. How are you doing? How's your night been? How's your key forging been? But do we take the lights out? I think Tekka Coin's going to get nasty here. So we'll do that. So we'll take out the red penny. Take out that. Um, play that. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So you got the cinder down there to protect that Snarrat. And one of the things... Nice! Awesome. Uh, one of the things I love about the Mediagenic Serum here is I work really well with the Snarrats to just sort of let the Snarrats do their thing and then eventually dump their Amber. Um, here I'm inclined to go Shadows. Get the Reckless Rizzo down beside the Cinder. Um, and Nexus their Mediagenic Serum. Super secret playing time with Dinobot? No way! Wow. Wasn't he even invited? Does he have to lurk? No worries. No worries at all, Zok. You oh, you're always welcome to lurk. There's Lord Golgotha. Free markets. This, uh, I know my teammate, my swindle teammate, Ganusa, beat Gorlami this season. Um, it does sort of feel. Um, so they've got a, they've got some really nice um, rush decks. One stood against many. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, Sometimes it does sort of feel like you're getting smacked with a wall a little bit. I imagine it feels like that in uh, Siaka's group as well. Same with uh, Dick Rollins. Well, there goes that plan. I think we are better off going Shadows. Probably fight the Secret Truth. That, or we can... Reckless Rizzo... Crack the Lucky Dice. We'll try that. We'll bone rot venom here. Reckless Rizzo, get the Lyco Thief down. We'll crack the lucky dice. Okay, library here, library card here is okay. That's not too bad. That's um I mean, they're at 7 Amber with the key forged. Man, this is brutal. Yeah. This is definitely requires um, rush decks to beat. Unless you, like, unless you can just brute force with the deck quality, but I cannot. So I can steal 2 and fight. That's not good enough. Come on.
call logos. Do that. Qmax. Left. Draw a card. Autoencoder. Honestly, not bad. Munchling down. That's the, here's a frustrating thing, right? We've we've handshaped successfully into a really sweet disc turn, and I just I don't think it's gonna do anything. Um, well, they didn't go to check, so here we call this. First we place Nerette down over here. We'll play that. Play that. We'll Shadow of Dis. Campaign Reaction. To deal... How much worth dealing... We can actually just fight the Arden here this turn. So we can do five damage collectively here. So I could one kill, put two damage here, one damage there. We can also reap here. Um, I think that splash damage here is probably worth, and we can just deal two damage to Ardent Hero. So a pain reaction will go one to there. I think we're just we can just fight into Joya. Pain reaction there. Uh, they were under shadow of. They were under shadow of uh, dis. So we could have we could have reaped there with the cinder. And they're under shadow of dis now as well. No, no worries at all. I mean, this uh, it's it is hard enough. Um, it is hard enough tracking the game states as it is playing the game, let alone watching it from a you know zoomed out perspective. So absolutely no need to apologize there, Joe. What do we got. Will we forge? Will we get a key? Oh, thank God I got a key. Mobile for blue. Here we could definitely call shadows. We say no to the archives. We play our bait and switch. Steal two. Play bow nithing. Steal two. Play your game G. I think we have to reap. We really need. We really need a second key. So that was an awesome. You know, that's pretty good. Still two off of uh, bait and switch and bow nothing on the same hand. Gear reminder in the bottom sucks too, right? Bottom through gear reminder. We don't have access to our furnaces.
Lights out. Oh, what am I doing? This is all, this is all, this is that. Is there any way There's no way to ready and reap this brabble, is there? So close. Come on, is there any way to do this? So we can't really, there's no point in drawing in anything. Um, I could put Bonithing into archives. No. Hmm, it's annoying. If this didn't get lights out, man. Couldn't have been a reef steel one. No, I still wouldn't have done anything. No, because then, yeah, we could have dominator bobbled it. Well. Damn. GG. Very close. Almost, kind of. Ugh. Man. That sucks. Oh, well. That was, the, that was a 3 to 2. Grim Reminder, bottom three. Ugh, oh, that hurts. Didn't even draw the bomb. No what effect control. We tried our best, and we, like I said, we got it. We got it down to um, three, two.
We'll see what um Um Salesman of Addis. That's gone. So it's these three left. The problem is that the double harvest times just make it really hard to play any board centered deck into them. Which eliminates Craving Scout Senator. And I usually play my safe decks second, as most people do in the league do. I always forget the harvest times there are. So it's between Grunberg and Sir Judge. Greenberg feels pretty bad if it gets its stuff purged. Hey, you know what? I'll try Greenberg. And that is Aunt Sanchez. Yeah, I think that's okay. I think that's just like fundamentally all right. I think we're okay with this. Um, yeah. And as I said earlier, um, the the um, game found campaign dollar amount is over here, and the but it's, it's below me. It's below me, and the um, thing it has a live update with the number of backers and the total amount. Go check out the GameFound campaign if you haven't already. This is going to be scary. So I do appreciate Gorlami making the games. It's, uh, it's very appreciative of that. Where is Greenberg? Hello? Grinberg? Oh, I think we I think we absolutely crack 750k, Joe. Um So Grinberg is for some reason I don't know what's happened to Grinberg. So let me just Let me just add it. There we go. Okay, so now it's telling me the deck already exists.
Okay. Oh, it's the umlaut. Well, not let me slip. One, let me slip. Dick. We will leave. We'll close and we'll rejoin. Man, the um, those double dots really uh, threw me for a loop there. There we go. Good to go. There we go. Yeah, we're good to go. Whenever they are ready to start, we can get into the game. And this is Grunberg's first appearance in the NKFL. I think, you know, getting close to the end, if... Um... I'll take first... I know um, Justin from Tabletop Royale is also... Oh, hey, Karen. How's it going? Uh, lost the first game, but it was close 3-2. It was Samir versus... Um, they just closed it. But it was Samir versus a very fast MM. That, you know, It's exactly the MM that you hate, Karen. I am tempted to keep for the autovac. Yes, all MM Karen. Here, let me just uh, I just pop it up for you so you can you can get a real appreciation for it. This is the uh, this is the MM. Part of the problem with Grunberg is that Grunberg has a lot of cards that are really situational. So an opening hand like this, where it's gateway to dis, we all the damned, bouncing death quark. Yeah, it is only fourteen creatures. That is true, Karen. It's not. It isn't quite as much of the um, creature flood that you hate. But it is very fast. Yeah. Um, I think we mulligan this. This is much more reasonable. Um, first turn. I think we're pretty happy to... Uh, I guess we'll first turn the... Munchling. Hmm? Transport platform early? I mean, this has a double harvest times, so... Vandalize. This is the, um... We're playing against this deck right now, Karen. So what do they do? They vandalized. They discarded our Lay of the Land. And... Played a Mutant Cuspers and a Mia's Bomb. Well. 
I think we just play this here. First of mind fire. Discard their pain reaction. Still two amber. Hell yeah. And then we just wheel the damned. Yeah, see ya, Joe. Sounds good. Yeah, it'll be up on my YouTube and well, it'll be it'll be going up after my um, Ace Fire Cell Frenzy one, so it probably won't be up for like you know a few days. But sounds good. Good luck. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you for coming around. Always appreciative. So here, I think we're happy to start setting up our Starlance board. Or do we just discard, play the Dinobot, discard these two? No, I think I would rather filter out my logos. So we'll call logos, we'll get that down. Um, we do not exalt. We discard these two. I will say, Xeno training on. Can't really, but nothing isn't bad. So here we do call Star Alliance. We get the transport platform down. Play Xeno Training to steal one there. Play the Anthony. Play the Chan. So now we're... We have the abilities to start doing things. The transport platform here threatens with the Anthony. Savage Clash. Plays Rapid Evolution. So, I would like to kill the Dark Fairy. But don't think that's reasonable. Right this second, so we'll call this. We get the Cinder down. We get the Anguish down. We get Brabble down. And the Transport Platform, we're actually going to bounce our Infernus with. And we are going to get rid of that Rapid Evolution, and we're going to get rid of that Implosion. I'm not super afforded a good, um... Their, um... That was their one board wipe. They do have a Key Frog, so we have to keep that in mind. Um... So there was their one board wipe. So we're probably okay br reaping for our own brabble. What are they purging? Leia land and Xeno training? Yeah, that's fine. What did they market this me into? Okay. Yeah. So here we call Star Alliance. We reap. Hmm, I think Explo Mover attached upgrade onto Cinder is actually pretty interesting. And then we'll bounce our Infernus. A Cinder with Skirmish sounds pretty frightening. Personally. 
I know maybe y'all don't see it that way, but it feels that way here. Lost in the Woods. So that's going to be what? Cinder and Brabble? Anguish and Brabble? Anthony and Brabble? Anguish and Cinder. Oh, don't worry. They, the Dark Fairy will be gone. So here we be called this. Slave so played one, two, three, four shadows creatures. Five. They've played one, two, three, four, five. They've played one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. So here we probably we want to go back. We just want to put into into Lyco Fiend. Yeah. Um, so we call this again. We'll reap here. We'll mark a disc, they're Lyco Fiend. Put down the Cinder. And we're purging their mark of disc, and we're purging their. Rapid Evolution? Essence scale, the Lyco Fiend, yep. Reap. Purging Mind Furnace. Yep. Um, so here we play. Cineret will actually get them off of it inherently. But I would need to kill this Dark Fairy. So I think we play an unoptimal disc, disc turn, we reap, we reap, we implosion, there. Diametric chart's actually totally okay. It's not doing much in this board. Oh, well, here I would have been. Oh, no, okay, never mind. So here we will call Logos Vision Bloom. Um, Sacrobot. Research Smoko. Adaptoid. Yep. So you play Star Alliance. You can put I think we play Contrino Flux. 
We kill this and we kill this. I'm pretty interesting. Yeah, it's a really nice country now. I'm pretty interested in put on genuinely putting um, this disruption field on the cinder, which I think I will. Don't think we could be killing that anytime soon. But there's the effervescent. Hmm. You know, it'd be weird. It'd be weird if mutant cut purse was not a mutant. We archived Nell. like a red penny one last job the actual fuck <laughs> thanks <laughs> thank you Karen yeah it is this is what you get at 11 p.m. I think we have to oh god I don't want to have a principal I can't I can't generate any amber Jesus. And then he has a bomb me too. God, I hate this. Okay, we logos. Say no. None of these things even have bloody. Okay. Tilted. Not actually tilted, but. So I can just clear the board, I guess. About to reshuffle. Play that. Justify tilt. Thank you, Karen. Do I just clear their board? Yeah. Reap. Toss the... English. Oh, nice. A soul fiddle. Oh, here's the board clear? Nice. Um, so, I think what we need to do here is uh, we implosion their key frog to forge their last key for them. Wow. No logos cards in hand. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. That's what, exactly what I'm saying, Karen. But do I want to go out um, with a gateway or implosion? I think an implosion to kill my own Snaret asserts more dominance. But first, you gotta show them the soul fiddle. Right, you gotta show them the soul fiddle. Maximum BM. And then uh, we say GG. And Gateway has more disruption. That's fair. Overkill. And I take chains. That's a, that's a fair point. That is a fair point. Report the game is 3 0 for Murph. Look at that, 3-2 though. I'm pretty happy about that. I know Anxious Pirate did not have a good time when he played uh, Gorlami. Uh, so here we play Judge. No choice. Basically, the rest, their last, their last two decks all have double harvest times, um, which just absolutely 
destroy the Craving Scout Senator. Has to generate creatures, and they're all going to get purged by the Bloody Harvest Times. Yeah, standardized testing in BDQ. Yeah, so they haven't picked their deck yet. So, um, against this one, the last two decks we play are the Peculiar Chronicle, Chronicler, and um, this deck. Either one, I'm totally fine taking... Into. I'm, I'm, I'm happy taking Judge into both of these decks. Sag is right. It is a little bit Sag. Oh man, I thought I thought I had I thought I added the, the better Twitch TV add-ons onto this. Um All of their decks well all the double harvest times is, is R, right? So I have a. They saved the. Um, I believe this is Chinese. I don't actually know though. I think that's Chinese. I should say Mandarin. But. We'll see what we can do. If Judge, um, if they don't target Judge's artifacts, I think Judge will be okay. And if they do target Judge's artifacts, I don't think they'll, um, the nice part about the artifacts in the Crude Soothsayer Judge is it's a, it's a location with Fangtooth Cavern. It is a item. I think it's two items. Three items. Mm, okay. Three items. Although the most important, um, what's interesting is that the most important house to be able to play off of the United Action is Untamed. Let's see which one they picked. Yeah, they picked their save deck. Not unsurprising.
So I know Kalos was wondering. Kalos, Kalos was wondering. Um, Judge is a fifty-three percent win rate in leagues. So not too bad. And Judge is not a game I play randomly on TCO. Unlike some others. Oop. Game found just went up a little bit. First. And if you haven't already heard and didn't check the announcement, uh, Karen and I will be tomorrow demoing the doppelganger format. If you have any uh, questions or you want to learn more about that format, you can check out the chat where I've linked to the command, the uh, link there. Um, where I've linked the information for the website, for the webpage, it's got the... Um, everything that you need to know there so go check that out we'll be playing two decks this deck i'm playing right now is going to be one of, is one of the decks i will be playing tomorrow fun fact so this is a little bit of a sneak peek to a bit of the gameplay if you haven't already seen me play this deck then we bob with the bright and um you know if you've watched any of my videos you know that that is my go-to adaptive deck happy So I think it'll be a really fun. I don't. I don't think. I know it'll be a really fun time um, streaming with Karen tomorrow and demoing that format. Super looking forward to it. That's going to be at 2 p.m. Eastern time, New York time, Toronto time. So be there if you can. Come watch. Hop in the chat. See the game. See the uh, the format demoed and make sure you can sign up because the signups have been extended until September 30th. So you still have time to do it. So be there. Yeah, we're going to start with book. Because we can... Don't you dare reclaim by nature my book. Jesus Christ. Uh, I was about to... Out. If, if they reclaimed by nature my book there, I would have been so tilted. Got no idea. So first we lay the land just to see what we're dealing with. Okay, so we'll be playing Untamed. So we'll take the Mutagenis Researcher. So we'll put the Flumph, put the Keyfrog down, put the Flumph down, draw the Mutagenis Researcher. Um, get Cheetah down, get Mutagenis Researcher down. <laughs> Oh, good to know, Karen. So we up attach it, ping it, we book, fang tooth, end our turn, pop their embers by mongrel, and we are golden. You're golden. Don't purge. Oh, oh that's happening eventually. Oh. Hey. I'll take that. It's up to so obviously they don't want the Ember Swine Mongrel, that's interesting. This is a self purge deck. Well, regardless we're going logos. Slapping down this. Slapping down the Mobius scroll. Archive on the top two cards. Data Forge. Oh, that could be big. Pop that. Ward our Amberback target. Who's ready for a five power knowledge? Five Amber knowledge is power. 
to tuck away the Witch of the Dawn and the Key Frog. Sorry, tuck away the United Action and the Witch of the Dawn? Because what I'd really like to do... The less pips I have in the graveyard right now, the better. Discard. Sorry. Oh! I mean, there's two harvest times, so it's not unlikely. I just needed one turn. I literally needed them to not have a one turn. I was going to go right back into it. You know what? We're... That does make me feel a little bit Karen. better, better, Karen. This, oh. well, we'll play untamed. I don't actually mind getting the Edi back. Man, that does, uh, really does a number on you. Really? I mean, it'd be worse if they hit my United Action, to be fair. Just such insult to injury, dude. I think we just can. We, I think we can happily call logos here. Say no. Put the edi down. Archive there. No. That's fine. Feels super weird, but oh yeah. I mean, the story of this game so far has been they rolled right, we rolled wrong. 
in like one of the most tilting ways possible. We can actually shuffle one, two. I'm actually actually really happy to um, get this, 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 this. <laughs> I can immediately get the key frog back. That's interesting, one second. Okay. So we, we hold the key frog here, is really what we do. Um, cause... Like a book. So I wonder who we fight with. Give my amber back. Yeah, well, joke's on you, I won't be using a... Yeah, this... I didn't want the frog right now, but the frog wanted to be here. I wonder, can we forge with the frog right now? That's two, and a draw. Two, four, six... Two, three, four, five. That's seven. Right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's seven. So we play night action. We have no aimer to capture. Um, we play this. We deploy left. We gain that. We draw a card. We get isotropic core. Um, so we can. I actually kind of want to hold in fighting here. Because Zap will be one. Two, three, four, five. So we can kill. So with five damage, or with ten damage together, we can kill here and that and. Yeah, we maybe do that. Do we kill this? No, I think we probably put the damage into there. Or we can just put the damage into the key frog. So we'll zap. We have to be careful of the infighting. So we put the brain eater down. We put the milio down. Um, yeah, I think we just put the key frog down. We play this zap. Two, one, two, three, four, five. We play this zap to go one, two, forging blue, and we don't infighting. fighting. 
Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I don't mind that at all. Not bad, not bad, yeah. Like, I'm really not upset by that in the slightest. Wait, do you do Star Alliance? What do we have left? So we can get a techno babble. I would actually love a techno babble here. It's done these three. So we'll play Star Alliance. Ooh, perfect. So you put this down, and so you put that down, put that down. Techno babble. And yeah, we're gonna reap. Watch us reap. Deal four damage to him. They're gone. Peace. Leave my eat eye alone. There's a submersive though. Stop. There goes the eat eye. Yeah. You know what I'm really curious of doing? I only want to draw these two cards. So what we genuinely do here is I want to, I, we will, oh no, cause that'll, that'll draw three cards, but I can put it here. So I think we call untamed. Yeah. Because I want to fertility chant. So I have to play two cards here. So I think it's submersive and information. So I think it's submersive principle information exchange. So they have one Infernus left. I think we just have to say they don't have it. Then we can fight here. No, because that draws a card. The whole point's not drawing cards. So we reap and re-reap. We play these two, draw two, which is going to be the Fertility Chant and that. And then the Fertility Chant and that will immediately reshuffle. So they can't Infernus. Sounds good to me. So we call Logos, we Submersive, we Information Exchange, we Reap, and we Reap. Yeah, that's good. Do they have any taunts in here? I don't remember them. No. So we call untamed. Banger. Optimal play. No, it doesn't. Nothing else kills it. So I think we have to. I think we really want to kill the Faust. So I think we fight. So we do that. 
I think we still keep the infighting. Infighting is how we kill the frog. Um, this puts them to check. So let's not do that. So we just do this. Put this on the left. Play that down there. Yeah, I think not putting them to check and forcing their answer to us while reshuffling our discard so their infernuses can't do anything is good for us. I can still fight one. And then here, we're happy to go Logos, I think. Archive 2. Nice, that's actually pretty good. Um, play that. So I wonder if what did they do? Lost in the woods, me. We forge. So we can actually keep them off check here, still with logos, and tuck away the end fighting. <sighs> no, they just pulled back an infernus. So yeah, we don't let them forge here. What we do is we're going to call Logos. We're going to play this. We're going to say left. Tuck away that. Oh! Okay, we'll be very well can win next turn. Please be greedy and don't go dis. Don't go dis. Don't have discard. I think we win this turn. Yeah, I think we win this turn. That's four. That's five. That gets us to six. We end fighting Pop the Frog. Right? Yeah. Um... Yeah, we can pull back the Gruen, too. So first steps first is we... Make sure we have a 5 power. So we play Witch of the Dawn. That, we pull back our Gruen. We Gruen. We Fertility Chant. And yeah, I don't think we get fancy. Play that, play in fighting. GG. Awesome. Yep, that's Judge. Well played. Ah, thank God. Whew. Man, I love Judge. Man, Judge is such a fun deck to play. Okay. Love it. Awesome. That's a one to three, right? Yeah. Future reference? I'm always happy to have future reference, Karen. 
you can either tell me here or you can also tell me in, you know, you can DM me later if you want. Either or. Yeah, no, I know I could have thinned the herd to start and gotten all that and got the amber back because it was just the Brain Eater, Theros Centurions, and the... that back. Yes, I did, um, I did know that. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. I think Judge, um, obviously there were some struggles. There was some tilt that needed to be gotten over because of, um, you know, Judge was not a full strength. Exactly, exactly. But you know, we we, we recentered. There was one one table smack, only one table smack in the stream. So I uh, called that a success. But Judge did what Judge does best, and it um, it won games. They banned Jericho. I was I was really surprised. Um, it was disrupted severely by your reclaimed by natures. This is nowhere near full gas. Well, it's not it's not anywhere near full gas. Um this is this is a uh, this was this was judge limpin at the a little bit. I don't remember what the harvest times hit. Oh, right. Yeah, it didn't cripple Judge. It certainly hurt Judge, though. As I said, this was Judge limping. Definitely Judge limping a little bit. Well, a lot. Without, uh, right, the Mobius scroll. Wait, basically, we lost out on four Amber. Or, sorry, we lost out on at least three Amber, which would have been, at the time, um... God, that would have been good. And also, like, I, if the knowledge's power gets purged after it gets used, fine. But the tempo and infernus proof amber that knowledge's power gives to judge in these matchups is usually pretty. Um, well, it puts the tempo ahead a lot in terms of amber gain. I was pretty happy about. Um, I think it was. At least it felt big brained to. You know, limit the draws, let the the discard be reset post um, all that in case we did play it. I think we played it. I think we played pretty well. 
fairly optimally. Obviously, I know in the last turn, they thin the herd could have been um, used to yeet all of these. But, no, it was... Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with these. Well, the second game... That second game was just brutal. But, I'm pretty happy with the first and second. The... The first, um... Yeah, I mean, that... That's a four key difference there. I have a two, so I'm only going down minus two keys. I still picked up a win. Which should put me slightly ahead of the pack, taking the win here against um, Gorlami. Because I don't know what exactly what Gorlami looks like in these standings. I know very doing very well. But see if I can if I can't bring that up. And as I said, if you don't know already, Karen and I will be streaming together tomorrow, co-stream, for a preview of the Swindle Team events, season four. Oh, thank you, Zoc, and hello, Dinobot. Yeah, so it was a really nice last win. This is um, this is Judge versus Gorlami's spooky deck here. Uh, tomorrow we'll have uh, tomorrow afternoon, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Karen and I will be streaming. It'll be a format preview of Central Team Events Four. I put the command here in chat. Go check it out. Uh, click that link. Um, Signups are extended until September 30th. It's a church team of three people. Each of the people on the team will submit two decks. Um, and we'll be demoing how that doppelganger format works with two of our decks. One being Judge that was just played here. The other being Bobbeth the Bright, which is my go-to adaptive deck. And it'll be very interesting to see how the doppelgangers produced by the algorithm play into both those decks. So Kay and I will be doing that for tomorrow. Do recommend it. Go check it out. And as I said, the game found image is there. If you don't know what the game found is, um, you know, type go to gamefound.com, type in KeyForge. You'll see it there. It's probably on the front page. If you have the means, please go back it. And um, yeah, this is the um, yeah. I um, took some time to crop it down to it being a reasonable um, piece, but I think it looks nice. Uh, hopefully it's pretty clear to see. Uh, but this is this is Gorlami's deck that we just played. Uh, Double Harvest Time, Triple Infernus, Stirring Grave, Mark of Dis, Break Key, Break Key, awesome, thanks Sock. Snaret, Skill of Cherubdis, A Humble, Double Faust, Double, Cent Double Thero Centurion, um, Double Lost in the Woods, Dark Fairies, Recl Resurgence, Reclaims. This deck it is deck, it is, that is a nuts deck. Thankfully, Judge took it down, right? Judge Judge took that game um, three keys to one. So, fairly happy with the performance. I think it was... Um, and this was Judge, I mean, like I said, I don't know, as I said, Zach, I don't know if you heard this, but um, four big pieces of Judge were purged. Um, Lay of the Land was purged, Book of the Q was purged, Mobius Scroll was purged, and Fangtooth was, cur was purged. So this is a big way of killing the Key Frog, of getting that trigger. So that was gone. Um, the Mobius Scroll was gone, which is you know a lot of its efficiency. It is um, setting up the combos. Uh, and it's also Amber Generation for the Knowledge is Power, which would have been relevant in this game. It's not always, depending on the draw order. Um, but would have been then. Um, and then Book was purged. Book was... So, our first turn would have been... Was going... Was... Ended up being... Was Book into this lay of the land into 
big, fairly big, you know, like three or four Star Alliance cards, and then uh, Fangtooth, which is a really, really good start. Well, it's a pretty okay start for Judge. It's nice to get the Star Alliance out of the way. Uh, and the Late Land was purged, and then the um, these three were purged off of the Harvest Times. Which is pretty brutal. And that was um, I don't I don't know um, when that was, but at the timing it was fairly brutal. But no, it did well, and it was um, I'm really happy with how it performed. So big win for sure. It ended up being two one Gorlami um, with a three zero in the second game against Grunberg. That was just nothing to do nothing to do in that game but um the first game was uh, samir you know did fairly well and ended up you know being pretty close so oh, it would have been interesting to see if they would have banned judge if i hadn't saved it because they didn't have banning jerito so but very good games. I think it is late here on my end. So that will be it for me tonight. Thank you everyone for coming out. Thank you, thank you, Joe, for being here earlier. Thank you, Dinobot. Thank you, Karen. And yeah, I hope you guys uh, all have a all have a great night. Thank you for stopping by. And I will absolutely see you tomorrow, hopefully, at 2 p.m. Eastern time for the Doppelganger preview. So have a good night, everyone. See you next time. See ya.